Hello, I'm Shazza and welcome to my channel Hooked on Books and welcome to a really plain fucking boring background. Um, I'm moving over the next couple of months so everything behind you right now is a complete mess because I've been packing. Because I've been packing. So last week my dad came to visit. He lives in France and I live in London so he came over, we went book shopping. Um, I did end up getting these which he got me which I was quite pleased about. I saw these and was instantly attracted because number one they're translated and number two um, they're published by Charco Press which also published Die My Love which I read recently and loved. Um, so they look, they all have a similar design, they've got the French flaps. I, I just like the overall design of these so um, I got those. But also when my dad came he got me, oh it's heavy, this lot. So these are books wrapped beautifully in really really nice wrapping paper which I love and um, I thought I would maybe open these up and see what we've got. Um, so first up we've got this one. I really like this wrapping paper so I'm probably going to end up being really slow to open this because I want to keep the wrapping paper. Yes I'm one of those people. I hoard everything. So he got me, I knew that he was giving me um, A Wrinkle in Time, um, I forgot I forgot that he was giving me this one as well which is the follow up one which is A Wind in the Door which I don't think people know as much. But yeah I really actually wanted to read this especially because the film was coming out. He didn't like it um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to like it either um, but I have high hopes. He was kind of comparing it to the Chronicles of Narnia but sort of saying that it's a bit more American I guess. Um, so I'll see what I think of this one. Um, but I like these. I like these little additions. Okay, next up this one. Just look at that wrapping paper. I love it. Okay. Oh, yes. So he's given me... Oh, so I've started, um, I recently gained an interest in the Folio Society. I put up one unboxing video of the, the Beatrix Potter collection that I got. I have um, four or five other ones that I've got since then. Um, and my dad has like a massive collection. I remember when I was growing up, um, I think I was talking to him about it and then he, he has kindly given me these two. So. So the first one we've got here is Travels with a Donkey and it's got its own little slipcase. So these are both classics and oh, I love it. So that's the, the cover of it in the back. It's got green end pages. And then it will have, it should have some illustration story as well. Yeah, so. And then it's got, yeah, these little illustrations throughout it. So I really like the Folio Society books. I just think they're very well made. So that's that one to add to my collection. And then the other one, which is a book that I actually had my eye on a little while ago. So again, inside the slipcase. And this is um, A Month in the Country by J.L. Carr. What an amazing cover. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, again, brown end pages. That's kind of the image that's on the front of it as well. See? I love that one. I love this one. So yeah, that's A Month in the Country, another gorgeous Folio Society book to add to my new collection that I'm starting. As if I didn't have enough books already. I've now started collecting particular editions. Uh, okay. Next up we've got this one. know he was getting me that one. He did mention um, something about this though. Um, so that's The Gap of Time by Jeanette Winterson who 
I really really like her as a writer and this is obviously part of the Shakespeare thingy that was happening so there was a number of different writers who were looking at Shakespeare plays and writing a novel based on that so I have Margaret Atwood's Hag Seed and now I've got this one as well by Jeanette Winterson and I really really like her as a writer so I'm quite pleased about that because I wasn't expecting that and then another Folio Society one which is Shakespeare's Sonnets so lovely red slip case along with oh, I'm liking the kind of contrast with those two um, so oh, it's just beautiful red end pages Ooh, this is so nice. So yeah, that's Shakespeare's sonnets. Okay, and then we're on to the final one, which is this one, which is really heavy. Okay. Uh, okay, so two more folio books, both Joseph Conrad, these are lovely. Um, so we've got The Shadow Line and The Almayer's Folly. the simplicity of the just the black and white illustrations I just think it's very bold and very contrasting um, just because it's a very deep black used on the page but yeah so yeah that's that one I think it must be the same illustrator I just love the kind of black and white illustrations just because it's so bold so there is my massive heavy stack of books that my dad kindly gave to me and bought me um wow these look so good <laughs> I'm really pleased um so he does watch my channel which is always deeply embarrassing um so thank you dad these are great um I'm now going to have to pack them away so that I can move house, <laughs> but thank you. So like I said, I am going to be moving. Um, I haven't started looking properly, but it is something that's going to happen over like the next month or two or three. Um, I have started packing just because I've got so much stuff. My bookcases are just like packed full, so I know that I can just pack most of my books away. They look weirdly empty and it makes me very uncomfortable, but I like to kind of just get this stuff done. Um, it does mean that filming might be a bit trickier, but I'll see what I can do. I might just cut it down to one video a week. Um, or just I'll upload whenever I can. Anyway, I just thought I would do a nice sort of simple video of sort sort of showing the, the books that were given to me. Um, and just because I really like the Folio Society at the minute, I just thought I'd show them. I do want to show the other ones that I got. I got them a little while ago now, but they're so nice. Um, and I'm definitely, it seem, it definitely seems like I'm starting a bit of a collection. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you're all doing well and that you're having a good reading day, week, month, year. Um, and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.